Okay, so I saw these um, e-paper displays advertised on AliExpress and I decided to get one to try it out. I had ideas of using this thing for a, a project that's coming up, but I don't think it's going to be suitable. But we'll have a look at it and see what we can do. So this is the one that I got. 2.9 inch e-paper module. Um, not sure what I paid for it. I got it on when they had their sale on. May not have paid that much for it. I'm not sure. But um, it's $7.14. So there is a, a GitHub site that you can download some stuff. But there isn't a library there or anything. It's just information about the actual module itself. They have different versions of it, square ones and so on. And this is the one that we have, the 2.9 inch one. And you can have a look over there. This tools folder there is just got Chinese stuff in it. You can't read it. Um, so that's what that is. Not much use really. That's that one. That uh, GitHub site. So what you have to do is to actually include uh, in the library manager. Include this uh, library here, GXEPD2. Uh, it works exactly, we're looking at um, platform IO here, but it would, would look exactly the same if you were <coughs> loading it in the Arduino IDE. It's, it is available under the known library, so that's pretty easy. And this code I basically got. From that uh, GitHub site, there are some uh, examples there. I believe that's where I got it. In any case, I made some changes to it. Originally, it said Hello World and React Studio, and I've wanted to put extra lines there, three lines, and draw a little box there. And <clears throat> so, this function here, Hello World, I put some extra code in there, and I haven't really looked into it too much. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of um, I created some um, variables here, box H, W, X, and Y, and I wanted to draw a little box around the text. And um, this is not, probably not the best way to do it because it seems I get an inkling there that the um, X, Y coordinates are from top left. So if you're drawing a box, that's what you do. But the actual text, I think the Y coordinate is probably at the bottom of the text rather than at the top. So it goes up so that it was kind of like a little bit unintuitive to um, work with, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So it has some modes that I have not looked into. It has uh, partial modes, and, um, and I think the reason for that is that, as you will see, it takes an awful long time, up to 20 seconds, before code will appear on the little screen and but at that time it'll be flashing and rippling and doing all sorts of stuff you can't read it so therefore this thing display is totally useless for applications that need to update the display uh, continuously but i can see why they would use these things in stores you know as lab for labels for for uh, the things that they sell, they can put a barcode on there and the price and, and some other information and stuff. And probably only have to update it, you know, maybe once a day, like overnight at midnight or something like that. And for that, they would work perfectly. And other applications whereby the, um, as I said, the display does not have to be updated very often. So let's have a look at it. Um, this code here is what I have uploaded to it already. So we can actually go and um, see how that works. We'll see what happens. 
So I'll push the reset button. There you go. This is what it does. Now, one of the reviews in AliExpress says, oh, this thing is great. It doesn't flash like all the other ones do. Well, probably a fake review because, as you can see, it does a pretty good job of flashing. So, okay, finally, now it is there. So this is the uh, dual color version. It's got black and red. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really looked into the technology of these things. I think I looked into it a long time ago and I've forgotten. Um, I believe there are some uh, some of the e-readers now that um, have multiple colors and you can actually display color pictures on it. So they must have more than two colors. But these little displays here, it's probably based on older technology. They've got two colors. And um, it's a pity that... Um, I don't know if there's any others out there, if you guys know, put it in the comments, that are faster, they don't flash for 20 seconds, updating and all that kind of stuff. So, in any case, that's what we have. So, I thought it might be interesting to see how that works. Now, also note that this thing is actually running on a ESP32, the Room 32 module. One of the, you know, it's one of the older ones. It's got a micro USB port instead of a USB C port. But notice how many it's actually on the spy bus, but it has multiple uh, signals that it needs. So there is power and ground, of course. And so altogether, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires. Six if you discount the uh, power and ground. That it needs to run on. Came with a little connector here that you can solder in here, but um, it also came with this little cable with the wires, and I plugged those into the board there. Don't know why they always give you wires with um, female DuPont plugs on it, because if you're using this thing in a breadboard, then that wouldn't work. You'd have to replace those somehow with some um, or, or plug in one of those strips into your breadboard in any case doesn't really matter but that is what we have so i thought you might find that interesting with a record but it looks like in my project i'll have to use a standard oled display because um, this is not going to work oh one thing of course that is kind of interesting is that if I unplug the power the display just stays on so and it's not consuming any power while it is displaying so that is um, might be useful in some projects as well so that is one feature that it does have the display will stay on there forever anyway that's it I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to uh, like and um, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And until next time.